Come on, Nate. Where is Nate, Luke? Where are you? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> Here he is. Hey, Lukey, bye. Oh, oh, do you want to get it? Uh, how do I open this door? Uh, I don't know how to open it. Uh, uh, yeah, you can then. Eh? I, I don't understand. Are you sure? Where's the boot? That, is that opening the boot now? <laughs> Go put yourself in the boot. <laughs> put yourself in the boot, you Philistine. <laughs> Wait, you can have a bag there for like the entire journey. We're just going to Matt's first. Yeah, oh, yeah. So why are we going to Matt's, Nate? So we're going to have Baker Boys. First. <laughs> yep, that's the reason. We're up at three yeah. in the morning, uh, and I'm in Matt's car just so we can have bacon butties. Got it's Scotland. It's a once in a lifetime thing, guys. <laughs> so yeah, we are going to Scotland. Oh, the Scotland. Land of the brave. And Joe Tuscavani. And Joe Tuscavani. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're on our way to pick up Matt now. Because we're going to the Macallan Distillery in Speyside. It's about three in the it's three in the morning. Yep. Because it's about an eight-hour drive. What could possibly go wrong? Eight-hour drive. So I'm doing the first half of the leg, and then Matt is doing the second half. Yep. Lukey boy, where have you gone? Oh, yeah, Matt. oh, oh he's, he's there. Yeah. He's already asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Pretty> <laughs> Do you manage to get a lot of sleep? No. Good. No. <laughs> we'll be asleep out there later. Luke, did you manage to get any sleep? No. No, no, you didn't get any at all? No. Why? Just couldn't. Did you even try? Were you even in bed? <laughs> Tried. No, but bollocks. <laughs> Absolute bollocks. <laughs> I could get this. I'm so tired and I don't know why. <laughs> Alright. Alright. What have you got? <laughs> what have you got in there? In here. Tea? There? In there. Red Bull. How many? Two. Oh, it looked like the entire bag was full <laughs> of Red Bull. And then we've got some sandwiches and crisps and snacks. Look at you all prepared. Yeah. Have you brought anything, Nate? Yep. No, no. <laughs> Luke, what about you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Clutch down. <laughs> All right. All right, Nate. <laughs> Trying to keep the energy up. No, We're about halfway now. Uh, so I've just stopped off at a Tesco. About halfway. I feel like putting some more fuel in. We've still got like three quarters of a tank, but. Uh, we need to we need to go grab some ice from Tesco's. Ooh, I need to grab some ice. What could that be for? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Wonder. You were snoring. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I might just went like this. I went. And Nate looks like Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's gone. There you go. Did it. <laughs> did it. No, it did go pretty quick though. There was a lot. Of, there were a lot of snow on there. Oh fuck! Get out! <laughs> are you alright? It's cold out there. We're not open yet, are we? Tesco's isn't open yet, no. But bastards. We'll just wait. We'll just camp outside. Say <laughs> <laughs> so we need ice for a cocktail. <laughs> oh. Park. Shall I park right outside? Huh? Park it disabled there. <laughs> I just stare at him. Here he is, look, he's opening it up. It's, not a, it's a woman. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, long oh here he is. Oh, she. <laughs> How long's left till they open? Six minutes. It's a long time. And they better be, they better open. Come on, just shout at her. Open! Why are they called Macallan Old Fashions again, Matt? Because they're in my car. 
Len. 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 True. You've got to have an audience for the uh, cocktail video. That's right, I said cocktail video. Cocktail video. Ca <laughs> cocktail. But the cocktail that we're making here is because we're in a car. This one we're actually not shaking, so you've got to keep guessing and see if you know what it is. So we're going to stir it in one of these glasses, so everyone take one. I can't. And no, not you. <laughs> You're not part of this set. You're not having two. What are you talking about? Uh, it's Luke. Oh, he's asleep. Where? He's asleep. Oh, yeah. Getting shot, Luke. Hey, you've got to, you've got hey, to see up for this. Hey, boy. Get in the middle. I'll get one myself. And then we're going to be stirring these, so we've all got our own, uh, our own uh, bastards. You say we've all got our own. Look at his face. <laughs> I, this wasn't on the list. This one is the one that we got from number three. Well, someone can have that. Have you got one? Oh, I've got oh. lots, mate. It's in Willie's bag of treats. Oh. We've got a, uh, ah. a Woodford Reserve one there. Nice. So, there you go. Have one of them. Yeah. And I've got... Oh, look at these plunkers, man. Ever. <laughs> I don't normally get road rage. <laughs> yes, he does. Bonza. This is like a travel bar spoon, because yes. we can go like this. Oh. <laughs> oh. You see, you act sarcastic, but you are actually really impressed by that. <laughs> Luke, we've lost you. <laughs> right, everyone needs to uh, have... Wake up! <laughs> right, drinks put me back to sleep. It's not even started yet! <laughs> he's, been drink, he's been drinking it all way, mate. You uh, don't even know. Uh, Brown sugar. Brown sugar. So, ma whiskey! Ah, whiskey. Macallan. And it's Macallan whiskey because... It's in my car. <laughs> it, is, it is. No one else can say that but you. Uh, and we're also going to the Macallan whiskey distillery, which is the reason why we are driving all the way up near Inverness. That's right, yeah. To Rothus. Some bitters. And we've got some orange peel yeah, and nice. some maraschino cherries. <laughs> but we've also got some maraschino cherry syrup just to sweeten the pot a little bit. <laughs> this is like a really shit version of Carpool Karaoke, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone can guess what we're making, any, any guesses? Any guesses? An old fashioned. Correct. You cheated, you already knew it bet, yeah. didn't you? And Luke's yeah. asleep, so and the, he, he had no chance. <laughs> you guys literally woke up in a new country today. Sure. <laughs> if everyone wants to take uh, do you want, um, one or two sachets of demerara sugar, sachet away. Because they're half a teaspoon, so they're probably about one bar spoon. Luke, some for you there. Cheers. <laughs> this is the hard part. You've got to do everything like this. Pour <laughs> <laughs> the brown sugar in here. Crush a little bit, a bit of it down, so it dissolves a little quicker. <laughs> I'm gonna get our bitters, a few dashes of that in. Oh, not the lid. Oh, oh no, now it's on my hand. <laughs> that is bitter. Woohoo! Have we got the, is that the cherry bitters? That it we've is got? the cherry bitters oh. from the Australian Bitters Company. Uh -huh. One, two. Oh, it comes out a bit slow, so we'll get some of that in there. Uh -huh. uh. If you like it a bit more bitter. Which I do. Bitter. Hold it up to the camera, Luke. Can't see it. Ish <laughs> <laughs> Luke, where have you gone? <laughs> After that, one a bit. A little squeeze of cherry syrup. We can start mixing that in. Sorry. Um... I hate it when people don't pay attention on the road. <laughs> I've done my bit. So you want to mix all that down into a bit of a paste. Whiskey. 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 Oh, cherry juice, please, mate. Oh, cherry bitters, please, mate. So a big shout out to, to Gary. Gary. <laughs> Gary from Beam Suntory. For hooking us up with the, the trip. trip. Yeah. After nagging him for years. Now you want to put a, a nice helping of this in here. Oh. <laughs> Don't smash my car up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Watch out for the roof. Get in here, Luke. But where, where are you, Luke? Where are you? Thank you. I'm sure I just will finish it off. Finish it off? Finish it off. No, save me a dram. Yeah, well, you... no, I can't, no, in a few hours. Obviously not now. 
<laughs> and then you need to get some ice. How did you get that ice? Just there. It was just there. <laughs> It was just there. It was there when I got here. Uh, <laughs> now we want to stir these down. Uh, your, job, your, your job, your uh, job, Matt, is to get the attention of everyone else who's in traffic mm. and alert them to what's going on. I'll get that police officer there. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we were having some drinks in the car, what happened, Matt? Well, we were in similar traffic, to be fair. Yeah, we passed a strong boy dark fruits out the window to someone. <laughs> Stir these down for about, well, it's going to take us a while actually. Just keep stirring, <laughs> just keep stirring. Have we mentioned what time it is? It's only 10 to 8 in the morning. 10 to 8 in the morning. Is that the earliest we've ever done it? Oh yeah. Uh, no. Where? It was London. No, no. Uh, oh, I don't know. No, London were about 8 o'clock. Was it? Oh, yeah. oh. I think this could be one of our early cocktails. The the what, one the one on the airplane. I would say the plane. plane. On the what? The plane. Airplane. <laughs> airplane. airplane. Please hold. You gotta get that orange peel in there. Oh yeah, you're right. Orange peel you is next. Call yourself a bartender. You've got a. Can you help me with this clean film? Sure. You're the bar back, Matt. <laughs> okay, I'm starting with the driver. No, no. That's a common misconception, is that? I'm the driving force behind this team. <laughs> Literally, because I'm driving. You wanna get the zest? Yeah, we've got a, we've got a guy here. You wanna like, get the zest of the orange <laughs> in there? <laughs> I wonder if I can get like a nice zest on camera. I doubt it. Oh. Yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Oh. These are zesty oranges. Yeah. Mm. So you wanna get all them, all the oils in there. There we go, Everyone, Scott, Scottish give Todd. It a, give it a go. Scottish Todd in that guy. Scott, Scottish, Scottish Todd. Todd. Good. Shout out to Todd on the uh, on the Day Drinkers podcast. <laughs> Tune in every week. It does smell good. <laughs> you've got sound like you got a blocked nose. You probably can't smell anything. Luke, where are you going? It's there. Uh, it's all right. And then the boys are gonna have them knock them back in thirty seconds, and then off to sleep for another three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we set off at half three. Uh, yeah, early. And we're, st and we're still early. going. Quarter four. Because yeah. Uh, holy Why did you give me like a three? I literally just grabbed. I just grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Nose in the nose. Oh, she's got steamy windows in her car. It's just steam. <laughs> We're gonna be steaming, man. Oh, yeah. How's it tasting? Oh! Uh, what are you <laughs> doing? I'm <laughs> done! <laughs> To garnish, get some more ice in there and garnish with ice. <laughs> well, you want to be using the ice, otherwise it's going to just melt in the back it of is, your car. It's going out of the motorway, that's what it is. Love it, anyone that's middle lane hogging. <laughs> As we're enjoying these uh, McAllen old fashions, uh, Matt, you found a book of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, didn't you? I did. It was in the little donate bit, so you gave a pound and now we're playing it. So how, how much are we at the moment? Uh, 2,000. Probably about. How much? 10,000. 2,000. 2,000. That was a 2,000 pound no, question. this is a 4,000. Oh, alright, wait. Ah. Okay. Go on. Uh, who was the last Prime Minister of the 1960s? Margaret Thatcher, Harold Wilson, Edward Heath, or Anthony, Anthony Eden? Harold Wilson. Harold Wilson. Yeah, Harold oh, Wilson. Yeah, he, he, in, he started the NHS. He did. A, a, a stirring paddy then. I think it's lodge, but yeah. Yeah, paddy on that. Hello. Hello, chef. Matt, how's it going? Uh, it's all right. It's Will though. It's it's Will. Right, we're all right. You sound like Matt. <laughs> we're we're um, we're live uh, on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So please don't say fuck all bugger. It's a sixteen thousand pound question. What's the specific name for the home of the beaver? Is it A, Warren, B, Lodge, C, Form, or D, Set? It's B, Lodge. B, B Lodge. Lodge. We, yeah. yeah, we thought so too. Lodge. Yeah. All right, cheers, chef. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right. right. Well, do. Cheers, pal. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Shout out to Paddy. So yeah, we're gonna go for B Lodge. Lodge. You're going for B Lodge. You just won 16,000 pounds. Luke, are you with us? 
This is good, isn't it? <laughs> hey, what, 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 are you, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Uh, I'm sporting a lovely suit from Slater's Menswear. Excuse me. What, what, are, you, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Clothes. <laughs> Clothes. Luke, Luke, Luke. What are these allegations? Were you being awake? <laughs> this is completely different to all the other distilleries that we passed. Right guys, we're at the McAllen Distillery in, uh, what, in Sp Space Ab Size? Abaloa. Abaloa, that's right. So behind us are all of the McAllen bottles up there. So we're going to get a tour around the distillery. It's a new distillery. It is. Um, and you can tell, because uh, compared to the other ones, it's just completely, yeah. Yeah. completely like modernised and everything like that. Um, it's about 18 months old, did they say? Yeah, something yeah. like that. But um, as always, suited and booted. Luke's so. finally woken up. So Luke. Colour round. I don't know why you expect me to do everything, man. Go on. Wait, hope, <laughs> and get dressed. Uh, hang on, I am. Stay still. Well, yeah. Um, we're gonna uh, in the second one. Apparently, we're gonna get a welcome dram, uh -huh. which is great because we've already had. Um, well, I am. A, a quart. Well, you haven't, no. So. I'm having all yours. Because <laughs> yeah. we've already had a quarter of a bottle. Oh, that's us. We're also booked onto the Heritage Tour as well, if you want to check it out. So guys, before we start off, again, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome you into our McAllen Distillery today. My name is Colin, I'm going to be your host, taking you through on our 12 o'clock Heritage Tour. Now, I'm actually originally from Glasgow, kind of from that part of the world, a little town called Airdrie, um, which doesn't have a very good reputation, but I've lived up in this part of the world for a long, long time, and I now reside in a town called Keith, which is affectionately known locally as the friendly town. So I will do my best to withhold the reputation of my town. I will do my damnest. And are you all from Halifax? Yeah, yeah all from uh, Halifax, uh, yeah. Down Yorkshire, I was set yeah. off at four this morning. Four well, this quarter morning. four this morning. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, you guys are desperate for a dram. I'll stop talking. So, there's a little welcome <laughs> dram for you all before we kick off. You guys should have seen what we were doing earlier, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be telling me this. <laughs> Anyway, I please. wasn't, I wasn't. Okay, okay. I was drunk. But if anyone would like to partake, feel mm. free and I'll tell you what we are having a wee drammy of. Thank you. Cheers, man. Cheers, Slandiva, roast, whichever you we toast it. I always Cheers, like man. to go for Faz Like Us. Faz Like Us. So, what I have in front of us today is a Macallan edition. This is part of a very well known and sought after edition series. Now the edition series covers a lot of the pillars of the calm, the things that are very, very important to us here. And this most recent release is a little bit more of an experimental, modern style of... Give a little swirl for us. Oh yeah, look at the legs on that. <laughs> Founded by a gentleman called Duncan Grant back in 1543. And he was given this land mainly for his services to the church. Uh, the Bishop of Murray based up in Elgin. Now during this time when Duncan Grant was gifted the land, we would have established a number of small holdings. These are some of the earliest bottles that we have. We did have a bottle from 1841 from Alexander Reed himself. Unfortunately it's not in the best of health so our archivist is currently trying her best to restore it uh, and then put it back on display. But these bottles are from the time of Priestham Davis in 1848 bottling onwards. So you can see back then, it was basically whatever bottles that the people could get a hold of. Now we have retained certain aspects from these bottles, the most obvious one being the chevron, the triangle, or the Superman symbol right at the top there, which has made its way onto our modern bottlings. And it's actually kind of like embossed onto our bottles as well. So it gives it a very, very kind of like regimented kind of look to a lot of our bottles. Macallan balls are seen as very, very tall, straight. They really stand out. Now unfortunately, on our tasting later on, I'm sorry, you're not going to taste anything quite as old as this, I'm afraid. I don't know <laughs> how good whiskey that's been in a bottle for about 180 years would taste. But thankfully we'll not have to worry about that because it's all evaporated. So my apologies for that. But if you were hoping to taste a bottle that, you know, from the 1840s, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. 
but I really don't think any of the people from this era were expecting in 180 years time for people to be looking at these bottles in a big museum. So they weren't really too concerned with preserving what was inside them. This letter here was written to a maltings company in the town of Burghead and it's basically putting across Mr Kemp's displeasure at the quality of barley he was being sent. So the letter basically reads, Dear Sir, I enclose a steep of barley as a sample. I make no comment upon it beyond remarking that such rubbish is not even fit for feeding purposes. Yours truly, R. Kemp. This is the oldest Macallan ever bottled. A combination of the eight casks resting here since 1945-1946 combined by our whiskey makers to make the Genesis decanter, presented in a beautiful Rene Lalique bottle. It does cost about five grand a dram, so if anyone does want to buy me one later on, I'd be very honoured. Uh, I'll Take just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the glass is real, yeah. the crystal is real, mm -hmm. uh, the material inside might not be whiskey, but weighs far too much. So if the fire alarm does go, just leave that one. <laughs> leave that one, you don't need that. Good though, so far. So far, so good. Yeah. We're seeing what it's all about. We're seeing what it's all about. There's a lot, a lot of bottles. There is a lot of bottles. A lot of bottles. <laughs> just, mm. just been telling us how much, like, uh, how much money everyone's just been making off loads of bottles. <laughs> <laughs> and this one sold for loads. And uh, this one sold for Even loads. <laughs> right to the top now, which is under a hill at the same time, which is quite cool, like an artificial hill. In the meantime, still to put Big in it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Smell that. It smells like whiskey. So then, folks, welcome into the McAllen story. So we've just come from pod five that contains the main visitors' experience. They're currently looking at pod number four. Now pods four, three, and two are identical. And these contain 12 stills, four of them are wash stills for the initial distillation, and eight are spirit stills for the second distillation. We also have seven wash backs. These are the metal vessels about kind of shoulder height, as well as seven spirit receivers underneath the floor, and one big wash charger on each of the three pods. This gives us 36 stills, 21 spirit receivers, three wash chargers, and 21 wash backs. Look at Nate, Nate. <laughs> it, was it was very interesting, that fire extinguisher, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, not, that's Luke. That's Luke, is that? Isn't that right? What? Yeah. <laughs> So if we aim for about 
five Celsius, that will vaporize the alcohol inside. This will rise, condense at the bendy bit at the top, drop down the long arm, and go through one of the condenser vessels at the bottom. 20 to 25 percent liquid called low wine. How long does that take? Anything from four to five hours, sir. What we now need to do is bring out the stronger characteristics of the alcohol and the flavour scheme. So we'll split this in half and move it between two spirit stills. This is called an unbalanced distillation. On this table, you can see two very different styles of copper stills. Now basically the larger stills traditionally will give you a little bit of a thinner characteristic, softer flavours coming through the spirit, whereas smaller, dumpier stills will give you a much thicker spirit. They'll hold on to the liquids and the molecules for a lot less time. That means you retain a stronger, thicker flavour profile and character. Anyway, I'd like you're holding on to that, sir, you can help me with this bit. <laughs> the former stills will boil up the low wine. This will start to vaporize, condensing at the top, and drop down the long arm through the condenser. We then start to collect the heads, the hearts, and the tails. Now the heads are the strongest alcohol, 72% and above. A little bit too strong. At 72%, the flow will be moved to a fresh spirit receiver. And we'll take in the heart, the finest cut, the stuff that will become our unique spirit. Once it gets to 68%, we'll close the barrel off there and move the flow back to the initial spirit receiver and fill in the tails, the veins, the weakest of the alcohol. Anything we can't use from the process is called spent leads. And we transfer this to a water treatment facility on site purify it and return it back into the water table. However, the heart, the finest cut, is by itself in its own little spirit receiver. We're going to add some water to this and reduce it to the cast filling strength of 63.5%. Unique spirit. We've got it. It's done. We have the DNA of the metallic. We have the first sketch of our whiskey. This material is oily, it's thick, there's beautiful cereal aromas. It makes up 20% of the flavour and aroma of every bottle. From the addition 5 you tried at the door, to the 72 year old, you're all getting me a drama over later. They all begin life as this material. The reason it's so thick and oily is the size of our stills. We want the whiskey to coat the inside of your mouth and the throat. We want you to be tasting it half an hour after you finish your grab, the warming sensation. And it starts off with our little stills, giving us the finest cut for our spirit. It's good, isn't it? It's good. It is it really is good. good. Enjoy it. He knows yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, it does. It's, it's um, what would you call it? A pitch? A speed? Uh, Charismatic? Um, oh, it's, it's pitch, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Script, that's the one. Script. He's scripted. Yeah. But it took ages for him to just uh, write it out. You'd know about that, wouldn't you, Nick? Yeah. How long do you reckon it would have taken you to write this script? That could go in an hour before. Knock it out. <laughs> Knock it out. <laughs> Knock, it's not one out. Uh, Knock and oh. See, that's that's a whiskey joke if you'd have got that. But you're but like you're not you're not a real whiskey joke. Yeah. So uh, I tell you what. More rum. I tell you what. You better just go on. <laughs> right, I'll start running. <laughs> In the summer months, you'll see our only permanent residents on the estate, the Heeland Coos, or the, the Highland Cows, the big ginger cows that you sometimes see going around. So then guys, basically Easter Elfie's house is our mark. This is our signature. When you see a bottle of McCallum, Easter Elfie's house is invariably going to be on the side of the bottle. And this is basically where the estate really kind of started. It's a beautiful part of Speyside. We're so happy to have all this ground at our disposal. The last official resident was Roger Kemp for about five years, starting up in 1892. And the Seafields who owned the house at the time were very, very willing to renovate it for his arrival. So I'd like to take you inside Mr. Kemp's view of the house back. <laughs> Tell me if 
you see anything peculiar on the little table in there. The bottle? There's a little bottle in there. Previously, this was the world's smallest bottle of whiskey. It was real? And it's still, it's a real bottle, yeah. No, and I mean, there's whiskey in it? Yeah, there's whiskey. <laughs> yeah. No and way. it's still the world's smallest <laughs> bottle of Macallan. So this is the kind of measure you get at my friend Ross's house. <laughs> we don't talk much. <laughs> um, oh, nice, yeah, nice. That was, uh, that's gonna turn out real yeah, nice. <laughs> turn out real nice. <laughs> means when like you know oh we'll take you out like fishing and like you know people can stay there I wonder who we actually mean probably the only residents the uh, island cows <laughs> yeah take them fishing yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I wonder you know, like heads of state or like you know just really famous people yeah know. maybe royalty at one point as well oh <laughs> well I can one day become the oak casks we will use to mature our spirit. These will add in beautiful natural colour, extremely dense flavours and aromas. Now the quintessential Macallan whiskey, the quintessential Macallan cask would be made of European oak. This is what Mr. Kent would have used back in the day to mature his spirit. Cherries? Yeah, cherish. 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 It just reminds me of the time that we did our own mm. bourbon. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. It does smell quite similar as well. A million different sample bottles on the estate that they will use to better dictate this. And we have about 350,000 casks on the estate at the moment. So we are looking for whiskey makers. If anyone wants to come and help us out and take all these samples and spend your days <laughs> nosing, tasting, and looking at natural colour. Where do I apply? Uh, just, just give me your name at the end of the, of the tour and I'll get that sorted for you guys. They have to be mm -hmm. clean in their palates. So, like me, if you enjoy spicy food and cigars, maybe not the best career move. But we'll see what comes. We'll see what comes. <laughs> Quick sweep. Four drinks in front of us for you guys to have a little look at. The first of these is on your left hand side. Now when you pick it up, it should be a lovely clear liquid. And there's a clue to what it may be called. <laughs> now in Scotland, this is known as Cleric. Locally it's known as Spike. I like to call it New Make Spirit. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a shock when you get it. I think some people say, oh there's a little bit of water. Whoa! <laughs> it's so far from water it's unreal. People mentioned kind of aqua vitae, that kind of style, very strong, fresh spirit drink. On the very nose, yeah. <sighs> strong. Some people say, some people say, yeah. Yeah. Well, of drivers, the spirit drink can't leave. <clears throat> this works. Yeah. This works with spirit from any distillery. It works mm -hmm. with whiskey. It works sometimes with gin and vodka. You get rid of the kind of smell of the alcohol. Sometimes with maybe a cask strength whiskey, something really, really strong. Yeah. Hey, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Guys, sorry. I forgot to mention. Old double cask on the nose. There Twelve is year old. Beautiful tone stuff to come through. A lot of the American oak presence is here on the nose. Sweet. Mars of A little bit of citrus and spice comes through the nose. On the palate, you'll start to get... This is an 18-year-old sherry oak cask, Macallan. Now, the sherry cask range, these are principally whiskies that are made up of European cask 
matured spirit. This is a classic style Macallan. This is the type of Macallan, Mr. Kemp, will be coming into the facility and... <laughs> yeah. See what it's all about. Well, we've seen what it's all about. <laughs> we have seen what it's all about. <laughs> what do you think? Nice. Really good. Mm, really good, right? Really good. Enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah, we all got like a little glass at the end. Uh -huh. This one's mine, and uh... That's it? No! <laughs> so, I'll, I'll unpack it. It's like a live unboxing. It is. Yeah. They're nice, are they? They are really nice. nice. So, they're like, it says the McAllen, even though that's backwards. And they're, they're like, emulating like tree oak on the side. That's really cool. You liked all the... All, all the, the tech, yeah. The, yeah. the new tech that yeah. they've put into the place. It's good. Luke? I don't really know. I just thought they were all brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was tech as well. When mm. switch lights on there. That yeah, good. that was really good. They're making mm. you know, thousands of bottles of whiskey with like no people here. Yeah, like, yeah. what was it? Nine. Nine, Nine people. Masters, yeah. Yeah. I liked two on today. I yeah. liked the... Um, the just the wall of bottles of whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when we first went really in. Cool. Yeah, dating from like mm. 19, 18, what, oh, 80, really, 92 really. till uh, all the way up till now. The tasting at the end was very generous as well. It was yeah. good, yeah. Mm. Got a, a fifth edition on, on arrival. Uh, a 12 year old. The um, 18. 18, 18 year old. and the new. Um, non age statement. Non age statement that's like, yeah. That they've, that they've made. We're, we're in the... Refuel. Refuel, get, get some food. food. You get a cocktail or another whiskey lit, yeah, just up up in the top. And, uh, and then just chill. Yeah, chill out. We've got the entire day now to just uh, do whatever we want and drink. But that's cool. Dressed up nice and smart. <sighs> should see size of me knob. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell you've had like a bit of whiskey. <laughs> We're just talking about how um, it looked like Monty Python and then Luke pulled out this. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Go on, one more, Luke. Oh, one more. Hello. Gonna try some cocktails. Uh, on, on Colin, the tour guide's uh, recommendation, Nate and Luke's got, uh, what was it, the warehouse number seven? Yeah, right. Which is like a, their, their take on an old fashioned, which, uh, I mean, we know about them because we've, we've been having them all morning. I say all morning, it's now four o'clock. I, I, I like the little house as well. Yeah. That, that had the uh, world's smallest bottle of Macallan. That was cute. Yeah. It was like, um, like a grown man's dollhouse. Oh yes, this is this is my uh, this is my whiskey dollhouse, and uh, it's only for it's only for uh, for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> only for Dobby. What are you on about? <laughs> what Dobby? <laughs> they said it was only for Dobby. <laughs> so these are the cocktails. You've got the what did I have? The Macallan Milano. Yeah. The Macallan Milano. New York Sour. And then on the coolest tray in the world. Ah, uh, Luke. Actually a slice of tree. Luke. Yeah, slice of tree. That's Instagrammable. Yeah. That is Instagrammable. I'll, I'll do it. This is the house. This is the Macallan Estate House. So that's the distillery over there. And that's what I mean by the hills. Just there. 
I was saying earlier, you don't get days like this every day, do you? No. You definitely don't at all. No. No. <laughs> no. No. So, yeah, Luke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. waiting for a car now. Where are we going now then? Could I? Go on, get mine out of my bag. Uh, Craigellic? Well, you can just have a bit of mine. Craigellic, we're going to Craigellic. <laughs> I know what it is, it's in there. Get a man out of there, mate. Why? Because you... What? I thought we were all doing it! To the bridge of Casadun! Into a tunnel. I thought this. Oh, it's not actually a rope. Oh. Cheers, lucky boy. Cheers. Hey. Scratches all day in a paw. It's way better. Is that right? <laughs> Scratches all day in a paw. Yeah. I love Come this, is what we do. Yeah. I love this. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. Thank you very much. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs>